guys, welcome back to Book Rummy with Mia, and today we're going to be reading another book. Today we're going to be reading another spring book. It is called, it is called Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring. And today our guests are... Crystal? What are you doing here? It, it's, it says Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring, not Goodbye Fall, Hello Winter. Oh, I decided to join in. But then where's Twilight? She had an appointment. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but... All right, Penguin and Spring. All right. Next up we have... Tasha, what are you doing here? I thought you went on vacation. Well, it was canceled. Oh, that sucks. Well, glad you could make it. Yeah, I am too. And then we have... Pancake, what happened to your face? She's a literal pancake now. Um, better not talk about it. Yeah, I think so too. By the way, this is Crystal the Penguin, Tasha the Cheetah, and Pancake the Bunny. We got some weird guests today, but all right. I hope you enjoy. Goodbye, winter. Hello, spring. Looks like there's three squirrels here. Oh, there's a really nice page. I like that color. It's like a light green, yellow. Goodbye, winter. Hello, spring. By Kazao. Iwamura. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it correctly. There's the three squirrels looking out. I think they're squirrels. Probably. Goodbye, winter. Hello, spring. What will warmer weather bring? Mick woke up and said, Oh no, what happened to the pretty snow? Their father said with a sigh, The snow returns to the sky. There they are. It's their little family. The children saw the clouds of pie. Look, the snow's back in the sky. There, the, There's the clouds. Molly said, I hear dripping over there. Come and see, it's everywhere. Her brothers asked, Her brothers asked, what's that sound? Little streams, they're all around. It's from snow. If it snows at your place, you know, when the snow melts, it's all like wet everywhere, and it's not really, the grass isn't that nice. But then the grass does get greener. Not long after, it became quite clear. The snow was beginning to disappear. As Mick and Mac and Molly looked, it turned into a babbling brook. There it is. Do you guys like winter? Do you guys like winter or spring better? I think, I honestly, I don't know. I think spring, because it's starting to get warmer, but then I also like snow, because it's, I mean, I also like winter because of the snow, I don't know. How about you guys? I totally like winter better. Um, I, I, I like both. I can't decide. Same. I like spring, definitely. By the way, Pancake, can you smell? Your nose is kind of like down in there. Yeah, I can still smell. Just kind of hard. All right, well, feel better. They shouted, I wonder where the water goes. Into a, into a stream, whoosh, it flows. And in the water, what did they see? The floating trunk of a fallen tree. Mick jumped on and said, come quick. Wait for me, shouted brother Mick. Molly said, suppose we fall. But onto the log, she carefully craw crawled. There they are, trying to cross the stream. Oh, I know, they're actually, it's like a little canoe. Have you guys ever been on a canoe? I've never. Wait, actually, I think I might have once when I was, like, really young. There's a little bird there. Tap, tip, tap, tur. Came the snow-melted water. It sang as it joined into one stream. A nightingale's voice trembled like a dream. The three of them on their tree trunk boat merrily... Oh, wait. The three of them on their tree trunk boat merrily away began to float. But after a while, they began to think. What if our floating log should sink? The water gushed into the river. The sight and sound made all three shiver. The melting snow down it poured. How they wished they'd stayed indoors. Oh, what do you think's gonna happen? They held on tight. Their log is snaked out into a great big lake. That is huge. Look how small they are. I don't know how they're gonna find their way back. Oh, there's some ducks. Wait a second. Oh, I thought that was actually like a log. 
but it's just because they're small. It's actually just a stick. Wow. I didn't know they could, like, that it would, like, what is it called when it sink? Some kindly ducks came swimming by. Help, help, the little squirrels cried. Each duck took one of them on its back. We'll get you safely home, they said. Quack, quack. I love ducks. Do you guys like ducks? How about you guys? Uh, yeah, I like ducks. They're kind of my relatives, you know, my cousins. Yeah, I don't really mind them. How about you? How about you, Pancake? I don't, um, no, I don't really like ducks. They're scary. Really? I think, I think they'll be scared of you now. Ha ha. <laughs> With duck feathers softer than the tree, the siblings sat quite comfortably. Over the water, those ducks did glide. They couldn't have had a smoother ride. Where does the melted snow go? asked the three. The ducks said, to a river and then to the sea. In spring, the snow goes back into the earth. And the sea and the sky, it's, it's a time of rebirth. We ducks, too, will go back north. Every year, we, fly, we gather to fly back and forth. They migrate. There they each are. I'm, duck, I'm the ducks. Guys, actually, um... If you see a duck, I'm pretty sure this is correct, but if you see one, like, green, like, with the brown, like, color, more colorful, that's a male, the boys, and then, like, the ones that are more, like, brown and yellow, those are the girls, female, I think. Is that right? Correct me. Then it was time for the ducks to depart. Thank you, dear ducks, the kids said from the heart. Let's meet here next fall, said the ducks, flying high, and soon they disappeared into the blue sky. Our dear ducks are like snow, Mick said with a sigh. When the spring comes, they return to the sky. Their mom and dad said, where did you go? We thought you got lost in the melting snow. Well, I guess they did. <laughs> there they are leaving. Also, did you notice when birds fly, they kind of like form a V? Mom, dad, did you know? The water in this pond is melted snow. It runs farther and farther and out to the sea. Then it goes back to the sky to be snow again, see? Their parents laughed and said, That's right, our three kids are brave and bright. Now who's hungry? Me, me, me. We brought acorns from our tree. Let's have a picnic, then we'll sing. Goodbye, winter. Hello, spring. There they are sitting here with the river or the book. And there's the kids telling them about the water and the snow. And then the lime page again. And that is the end of Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Her neck keeps on going like that. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to comment down below and tell me what other books you want me to read. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Now it's sadly, it's time to say bye. 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 Bye.